so what's the dealio youtube welcome back to the second half of switching lanes uh i'm your host tj most of you should already know me but if you're new to the channel um before we go any further with our video please go back and watch chris's video um he kind of gave you guys some insight as to what was going on last year the disappearance and what we have planned for this year kind of um but a lot of it is it's just going to be we we're, we're going to show you better than we can tell you pretty much so um right now i'm actually watching his video if you haven't already watched it i'm watching it again as we do watch it you know we watch the videos oh my God. And go back and forth where, is you guys? where have you been i'm also getting some editing check that out i missed that car right there that was my charger bobs that we had them parked at our job pretty cool huh? but um i'm actually doing some editing right now actually i'm editing this video that you're watching so if you're watching this it's too late um but no man uh we're back for the first time pretty much uh we're back putting videos out but it's the first time in january so that makes sense there uh, but um i don't want to hold you too much longer i'm gonna go ahead and um walk you around outside and uh let you know and well show you what's going on with the merc and the truck and we'll go from first gotta help the wife with groceries I, I think that's part of my honey do list i don't know but let me do that first and then we'll go ahead and do our walk around oh i gotta gotta rub this lamp for good luck though all right <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I'll catch you guys outside in a minute. Peace. exercise in carrying groceries in so um let's chat now um yeah i'm a pepsi drinker you have the pepsi drinkers and you have um the coke drinkers so pick a side let's uh go ahead and recycle first and then we'll get to biz all right we've recycled groceries are put away let's go for a ride and the old board Ford here and uh this thing is actually leaving here soon <laughs> and uh it's almost time to uh trade it in and uh well we'll talk about the f-150 on the next video because I'm going to just give my two-year final um I don't want to I, I guess you can call it a review but it's not going to be a review video it's just going to be how I felt about the Ford F-150 in the past two years that I've leased it spoiler alert I love the truck happen we'll probably be in another f-150 maybe unless chevy or dodge can cut me a real good deal i'm all about deals i'm not biased to brands but um that's that yeah real soon that was uh refreshing okay off to the merc all right guys so as you can see, the Merc is, you know, pretty much covered up for the winter, uh, surrounded by barbecue grills. Now, I didn't pull it here. <laughs> I actually, um, I actually had to push it here because um, I took the car out. Mm, well, okay, let me let me go back real quick. Um, my township here said I had to plate the vehicle. I wasn't happy about that because it sat in my driveway all summer you know wheels on wheels off as you guys seen um and i never registered the vehicle 
and it was just fine. Soon as I brought the car here, put it underneath the cover, they told me I had to register. Very weird, unless it's in the garage. Obviously, I don't have a garage, as you can see. So, here it is. Um, so, we played at the car um, about a month or so ago. Uh, we went with historical plates simply because I didn't plan on really driving the car anywhere other than to a local car show and you know things like that meets and things like that when once we finally had both of the bands is running Chris and I uh, so I figured okay it's plated let me take the thing out for a drive even with the brake light problem we kind of figured that out a little bit well I decided to fill up the tank uh, with premium that's what it says it takes and um, went to a self car wash and sprayed it down. Okay, went and filled it up, running fine, no problem. Get to the car wash, I spray it down. Um, I tried to avoid, you know, going directly down into the engine or anything like that. Well, I was driving home. Um, I noticed a little hesitation. It cut off on me twice. Like, okay, I was only about six blocks from home. So it cut off on me twice, no problem. All right, started back up, started back up. Well, I made it like right to the corner of my block. The car shut off, would not start. Dead in the water. <laughs> so, um, called the wife and she was gonna come with the uh, pickup. I was just gonna um, hook a, you know, put a hook on it and just pull it straight to the house. Well, two of my neighbors actually saw this and uh, they actually helped me hand push it down here you know just right down the road right into the driveway i was very grateful for that so i figured okay something got wet i let it dry out and we'll go back and try to start it again days later wouldn't start so this is what i'm figuring one either the fuel pump went bad it happens fuel pumps die just like that two bad gas it happens so maybe i have to drain the old gas out of the tank and start over fresh I'll change the fuel filter and everything all at the same time or three something electrical got wet and it just is preventing the car from starting I don't know and unfortunately it's starting to get cold now we've been skating by here in Michigan but the weather is finally far, uh, finally starting to break it's getting cold colder and the ice and all of that good stuff so um, I'm going to order a new fuel filter, a new fuel pump. So just in case we get a break, um, maybe over a span over a week or something, I can get the tank out because the tank is actually located in the trunk. Let's see if we can, I can show you that. We can get the barbecue grill out of the way. And if the tarp isn't frozen to the vehicle. Mm, okay, it is. There's no uncovering the car today. I'm gonna have to let some, cause we had horrible ice. Well, first we had a lot of rain, almost two inches of rain, uh, Friday night into Saturday. And then it rained most of Saturday, well, all of Saturday. And then the rain turned over to ice and sleet. And here's the result of that. The car is stuck to the vehicle. So, um, it's supposed to thaw out over the next couple of days. I think we're going into the forties. So I'll come out and uh, try to start the car. The battery's probably dead, maybe not, we'll see. Um, I've come to the final conclusion. I'm probably going to sell the car. Now, um, I wanna do a few things to it. First, I'm gonna put all of the interior back in and get it cleaned up real good. But I've just kind of ran my course with the car. I've had it for almost a year now. It'll be a year in a few months, as a matter of fact. And I, I don't know you know I talked to Chris kind of let him know my feelings on it talk to my wife let her know my feelings on it and I just I'm seeing a lot of my dream car starting to come up a little bit cheaper and obviously I don't have space for multiple vehicles or I'll keep it put it to the side and move on but I just I don't have that convenience right now and that's the convenience of full driveway so I'm not going to worry about it no harm no foul but it'll be easier to get it running and try to get rid of it that way because no one really wants a Mercedes that's not running <laughs> unless there's just a person that likes this specific vehicle and 
it'll probably take light years to try to find somebody like that no harm no foul I want it running anyway so I'll, once the weather breaks I can pull it in and out the you know driveway and all of that good stuff or continue to you know work on it and drive it as I try to sell it we're trying to you know full steam ahead this year we're just not going to let little stuff slow us down but I just kind of backed away from everything that I wanted to do to the car and um yeah so i'm, I'm kind of looking at other vehicles but you know like i said I, it would have been nice to move this one first but you know that's just not the case always so that that's pretty much where we're at with that it's not a final decision don't get me wrong i may get the car running and driving again and decide to keep it i don't know we'll cross that bridge when we get there so that's pretty much it on the on the Merc. Once the weather breaks, I'll come out here. Uh, I'll do a quick video of me trying to see if it's starting. Maybe it'll start. Maybe you guys are my good luck charm. I don't know, but as you can see, that's the state it's in right now. <laughs> Woo! But we did try to drive it and and things like that, but it just didn't quite work out for us. So, um, like I said, this right here, uh, I just called my guy. My people caught his people. Well, I caught him <laughs> and uh, told him that let's let's figure out what we can do because I'll go into details about that. I'm starting to ramble on. I'm getting comfortable with you guys and everything like that. I don't want to make this video too long, so just know the next video will be the Ford. We'll be talking about that. All right, guys. So um, hopefully. Um, you see in our faces and everything pop back up on your feet and everything you'll continue to ride with us we're here we just went on a bit of a little hiatus but <laughs> we're back and um we're gonna get this thing um rolling full steam ahead like i said 2019 man a lot of losses a lot of losses we tried our best to keep our head above water and look we're we're here we're recording again you know so that says a lot for the both of us um, I'm sure some of you guys I've heard it a lot read it all on the interwebs and everything a lot of people just feel that 2019 was just a horrible year <laughs> you know it could have been worse you know but it was pretty bad for a lot of us but here we are a whole new decade a fresh start um, we're gonna take it take advantage of it you know and um, keep on pushing from there and um, you know, I, ho I hope you guys feel the same way. If you're watching this, then I know you, you do. So we just keep pushing from there, man. And um, until next time, God gave you another day. What you gonna do with it? Peace.